So, so far we've come this far. So this year we are currently been able to uh, be able to fill a form and submit. So uh, let me add some friend from India, uh, Sanjay. Uh, Sanjay um, uh, Kumar uh, Prashant. All right, so uh, department is Java, email is uh, e at yahoo.com, country is India. I have many friends from India, that's one thing. So if I submit, you submit, you can see him here. So we've been able to handle submit. Let's now move on to the next part. Of course, this is part seven, I think, of our Angular UI and Spring API. If you are joining for the first time, please watch the previous ones and also uh, subscribe to like uh, so subscribe so that you don't miss any update. If you have challenges, let me know in the comment box below below this video, and I will be there to help you as much as I can. All right, so. Um, the next thing we are going to be doing now, we are, I'm going to simply click on moving to the nice part, part four. All right. So we are going to be showing details. All right. So when a user clicks, this is where we are. When a user clicks on details, it's going to show a list of items, but you will not be able to edit anything in this list of items. All right. So, uh, um, all right, so this is the steps to follow. I, I actually, since I've done it before, it kind of like I don't, I don't want to do it again. So I'll use the same method for adding a new form. But in this case, we are going to be doing editing. When a user clicks on edit, we call a function to open a model. A selected record will be displayed. Then in the function, you will display the record on the model using get element by ID dot set attribute okay so when a user clicks on details the selected record will be signed to the typescript to the back end and that record will simply be used to display on the form using uh, set attributes basic uh, get element by id the set attributes so copy and paste the ng templates uh, block of code uh, change the con ids of the controls because you can't have duplicate IDs. So you can actually copy this and change it. Uh, okay, let me just, let's just be doing it as we read. So let me just kind of make some room here. So copy and paste the ng block of code. So the ng block of code is this one. So I'm gonna copy and paste it. Uh, no, it's stopping halfway. So copy and paste the ng block of code. Yeah. So I'm going to copy this and paste. Now I want you to observe something. When I paste it, there will be some error. The errors is marked on red, meaning that we can't have duplicate IDs. Okay. So it says change the IDs of the controls because you can't have duplicate names. For instance, first name, you can change it to F name. Okay. Last name, you can change to L name and take out all the name attributes. Name attributes is not necessary. It's not necessary at all. Take out all the name attributes. Take out all the four attributes from the label, right? So for instance, we have the label four attributes. Four attribute is used to, to focus. Uh, when you click on a label, it's gonna focus on the corresponding input. We don't need it because we don't need anybody to impute anything. Then, for the ng template tag, change contents to content details because you, you need to have two different uh, 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 templates. Remove ng model from all the controls. Do you see all these ng models? You have to remove them. And remove all the attributes from the form tag. So it's going to be plain form just like this. If you, do, if you do all this, this is what you have. And I'm going to copy and paste instead of doing it myself. But for you, for you to get used to the whole thing, I recommend you actually do these things by yourself, step by step. So I'm going to copy this and we are going to replace the form. The form, we are going to replace it. I'm going to just remove and just paste it. So I've made all these modifications. I, that I, in these types in my website, I've made all the modifications completely. And this is what is left. Now we are talking about details. It's very easy. I'm not sure we, are need, we need to go any far. 
The only thing we need to do now is to put the click event for the for opening of the details form. We need to put the click event on the details button on the HTML table. Make no mistake about it. So I'm going to simply copy this. I'm going to go to the HTML table. Why do we have this? Okay, so simply change it. So instead of new friends in this case, just call it friends details. All right. And then um, when a user clicks on the table, uh, yeah, let's see. Um, so there's a details button, all right? So there's a details button. I'm going to add a click event. Sorry, uh, I think I mixed up something. Uh, let me just type it out. Click event is equal to open details. And I'm going to pass it contains details. Uh, and I'm going to pass it friend across as well. Uh, just going to make sure I don't have any error anywhere. All right, so open details, content details, friends, perfectly well. I think it should be fine. Now, the the this guy here, I'm going to change it to content details because now it's, it's going to be the content for details. It's not for, for add new. So I'm going to change it to details. And, I, and this error is going to go away. All right. Now we need to write the event handler. What's going to happen when a user clicks on the details? We need to open the details form and pass the friend uh, that was clicked. Okay, so this event handler, I explained it to you. When you have the friend passed, in the, passed into this open details, friend.id, friend that first name, friend that last name, all of these tickets and assign it as value to the uh, to the controls using get element by ID dot set attribute value. Okay. So if I copy and paste, I'm going to just copy and paste, uh, on the TypeScript file. So it's going to be command B. All right. Now, if I go back to French component, you can see the first F name, we have L name. So we are simply setting the values. For instance, the values can be set by saying value is equal to, but now we are setting it using the code. Okay. I hope this is quiet. If not, leave me a comment. Let me know as soon as possible so I can help you. All right. Now, I also put the size here to be LG. Now, what do I mean? If I go back here and I click on new friend, you can see this is kind of small. But let's now click on the details. Let's see. Now you can see that the details is a bit bigger than the, the, the other one. So, but now you can see, uh, oh, something is not adding up. We actually need to lock the form. Uh, we don't need, because these details, we, we are not saving anything. Okay. So let's lock those controls so that user cannot edit that control. Okay. And a number of things you can do. You can use read only, you can use it disabled. Uh, you can also, in this save, we are not saving anything. We are simply closing it because it's details. After looking at it, you close it. So, the first name, uh, input, I'm going to change to read only. Okay. I'm going to copy this and just, uh, sorry, give me one second. All right. So, this read only. So I'm going to copy it and paste it in all other controls. I'm going to say command V to paste, command V to paste, command V to paste, and command V to paste. Okay, I pasted and made it read only. I'm going to save everything. And now if we go back to check, new, uh, new friend is okay, details. So it's read only now. Nobody can do anything. Nothing. It's not working. So details is done. We are done with details and I hope this is clear. Uh, let's see what we, we can do next. Edit is not working. Delete is not working. We are going to come to it in a minute. So let's go back to the uh, web page. All right. So this is where we are so far. Okay. 
So there is a few cleanups to do. Remove the submit button from the form. Okay, da da da. Read only. I've done that. All right. So we are done for now with details. I'd like to thank you for viewing. In the next part, we are now going to work on edit. But please subscribe to my channel. Share this video around. Let me know if this has been informative for you. And we are going to see the next part. I remain time to the Tech Pro, and I'm always there for you.